Bless God for the prophet of the house here today, Bishop Neil Ellis, Nassau, Bahamas. God bless you. Go in peace and the peace of... Whoa. Something when you were talking about um, the spirit of fear leaving with you, leaving from you. That's, that's too much of a challenge for me. And um, uh, what, what, I, what I heard... No, don't, don't, it's, 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 come on. What I, what I heard in the spirit was, what I heard in the spirit was, this is a church of mature faith. But the faith has not recently been challenged. You've been preaching and most of the stuff you've been preaching all year long. I've not been around here, but that's what I heard. You've been preaching messages that stirred, nurtured, and matured the faith of the believers. But the faith that you preached has not been challenged. And one of the reasons why it's not been challenged is because you were fearful as, as it relates to how the challenge will come across. And part of the fear has to do not necessarily with the response of the people in here, but the response of the people out there. Now, Bishop, I'm going to say this and leave you alone. Sometimes the devil magnifies things and make them look far bigger than they really are. Now I know you had an attack last year. You had an attack last year. And, and, and while it didn't divert you from the agenda, it slowed down the challenges. But I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, is it me or them? Is it me or them? And we cannot let people out there affect destiny in here. And finally, this is where you come in new birth because you see, as a pastor, sometimes what makes us press even though there's hell on the outside, what makes us press is when we, we are satisfied that we have the confidence of the people inside. Now, new birth. I got two questions for you. Can the Lord trust you? And can the bishop depend on you? So a faith that has not been tested is a faith that cannot be trusted. I'm going to say that one more time. A faith that has not been tested is a faith that cannot be trusted. Now listen to me, new birth. Listen, please. I've been there. I know what it is to be vilified and tried in the public press. Several years ago, I endured a scandal for 82 consecutive weeks in the newspapers. One week after the next, one week after the next, 82 consecutive weeks. But when it stopped, it was graduation and celebration because doors started opening 
everywhere. And I hear the spirit of the Lord saying now, this is for you and for the bishop. Whatever you've been going through, it's through. Uh-uh, that ain't good enough. Whatever you've been going through, it's true. On top of that, your recession is over. A faith that has not been tested. So free your spirit, Bishop, and challenge the people. Challenge the people. And this debt is hanging on too long. There's too much for new breath to do to be covered and laden in debt. A faith that, that has not been tested is a faith that cannot be trusted. Look at your people. Look at them. Look, look at them. Look at them. Look, look at him. Look, look at him. If he can depend on you, throw him there. If he can depend on you, throw him there. If it doesn't matter what's happening out there, he can depend on you in here, throw him there. Throw him there. Throw him there. For God is a rewarder of those who diligently.